Hey, this is Mr. Computer Tech Tips. My name is Vikius, and today I'll be making an update video to the U-Torn video that I made a few years ago. Um, the reason why I'm making an update video because uh, there's been new versions of U-Torrent, and um, and there's been several updates, and the settings have changed, but not that much. So I'll just go through. Uh, I'll do a quick run through of uh, the changes I've made before I start the video I just want to explain seeds and peers again just in case if you didn't get it the first time uh, seeds are basically people that you're downloading off peers are people that are downloading off you and other people so the more peers the slower the torrent the more seeds the faster it is so if you have let's say 1000 seeds it'll go much faster than someone uh, much faster than a torrent that only has 10 seeds so I got that out of the way. Go into options, preferences. I already have the dialog box open, so I'm gonna pull it up. Uh, general. Just that's up to you if you wanna add passwords or you wanna make a little bit. Uh, you wanna like start U-turn when Windows starts. It's all up to you. This does not affect the speed. Uh, same goes for UI settings. Same for directory, same for uh, well for connections. You could choose a port. I'm using one one three six, but it's up to you. You could choose another one, as long as you forward the port, which uh, I'll make a video soon. Um, and uh, go to bandwidth. That's where where that's where the magic happens. So maximum upload rate six seventy, the rest zero zero, and then you come down to global maximum number of connections. Down here, it's 180, 1890. Sorry, maximum number of connected peers per torrent 2329, and the number of slots per torrent 4. And check this. Um, this may not work for everyone, but from my last video, a lot of the comments that I got were positive, and they told me that they did work, and it brought them from I don't know, one kilobyte to like 1.7 megabytes. Um, but there were still a few, like five or six, that that did not did not get it to work, and um, their torrents couldn't download faster. Uh, like I said before, peers and seeds. It depends on that. If you download a torrent without peers or seeds, it's not gonna download anything. Um, BitTorrent just enable. I would go in enabled and just check what I have whatever I have over here transfer cap doesn't really affect queuing here maximum number of active torrents 4 maximum number of active downloads 3 maximum ratio 100 and then the rest 0 0 and uncheck these scheduler doesn't affect none of these affect the speed now um, this is where all the modifications happen so if you do not feel comfortable messing around with the settings of uTorrent, just don't do this. Uh, but it does help your torrent. So just look at this little star. That's where I made the modifications. So it's easier to tell. So first one, BT allows same IP. It should be false. You change it. You click. You change it to true. Uh, again here. BT no connection to services it's true so you change it to false same here BT send have no uh, uh, BT send have two seeds sorry false go down a bit uh, GUI show no torn nod false change it to false IP filter enabled, change it to false. Net maximum half open, change it to 66. I don't know what number is there on default, but change it to 66. Let's go. Peer disconnect inactive interval, I think. Yep, change it to 900. Uh, don't count slow.dl, change it to false. Don't count slow.ul. Um, change it to false let's and that's it 
Just make these settings, click apply, and your torrent should start up again. I'll add a picture to show you guys what the maximum speed I obtained when I was downloading a torrent. And uh, it was 1.5, which is pretty fast for a torrent. And please uh, like the video, subscribe. We'll be making more videos in the future. Uh, have a nice day.